Hello, today we are going to learn how to create simple architectural walls. As you see here, we have like a kind of a small house with uh, inner walls, which is usually brick or masonry, and here's like insulation. Many people, when they draw architectural drawings, they draw walls, you know, with separate lines, like, you know, one line, second line, and then they, and they just like finish the line, and then they, let's say, copy it or offset it. As you see it here, but you know it's kind of this kind of drawing style takes a lot of time, and you know it's not so efficient. And modificating it is also not so <coughs> fast. <coughs> but in this case, as you see here, it is like made out of one line, uh, which like controls the both lines, the ending of the line, also insulation. You know, it's easy modifiable. You can easily modify it and change it. So, I'll show you how to create these kind of walls and lines. So, basically, to do this, we will have to use the multi line command, which is ML. Just type ML and press enter. And if you draw to one side or other, you see that we uh, draw two lines with just one line. So, press it and you can make some walls. So this is like the standard type of walls which were given in AutoCAD. But of course we want to create our own size, you know, width and own style. So to do this, we we go to ML style option, enter. And as you see, I've created a few uh, styles, but we will create a new one. So just let's say take standard, click on new, type for example like um, Two line tutorial. I will take it. Two lines. Two lines uh, tutorial. Okay. And we here we have few options. In description. You can also write, let's say, two lines. Uh, and <coughs> that's it. Let's say as you wish. Uh, here we have like two options. As you see with this. Upper option represents this line, and this lower option represents this one. As this offset is how far away from this axis, from the middle of this uh, wall, uh, is this line and this line. Theoretically, we can add more, like you know, lines to create wall with many layers, like one layer, two layers, three layers, and so on, as you see. But uh, for now, let's just leave it for with the uh, two lines. Now it also leaves this. Part unchanged because you know it's good to have color by layer and line type also by layer. Here, this part, this plate joints means that if you have like a wall which has a corner, let's say a wall goes like this and this and this, and it will show where is the corner point. But I would let, leave it unchecked because you know it just looks better, I think. And this is a background color, as you may have noticed. And one important thing, I would check the beginning line. You see here it appeared, appeared and here's the end line. It also appeared. So to create, create like a you know clear wall contour. Or you can also check outer arc or inner arc, but at the moment I will leave it empty. So let's press OK. Just uh, don't forget to choose this one and don't forget to set it as a current. Click on set current and click OK. So now we type again ML for multi-line, and you, as you see, we have created our own wall. If we want to change the width of the wall, we go back to ML. And here you have three options, justification, scale, and style. To change the wall width, we just like take, as a click here on scale, or press S. And then we change, let's say, for to 400 millimeters. And as you see, the wall width has changed. Another option is this kind of justification. Press J, and if it uh, if it stays on top, it means that you draw this line at the top, and the uh, bottom line will be automatically automatically created. So let's say if I choose bottom, then I will choose then you draw the bottom line, and the other line on the left for or on the top will be automatically created. The third thing about a multi-line object is that you can choose its style also here. Just click on a here or type ST and click on this question mark. And then you can see 
what kind of styles you have. Let's say I want to change this style to installation, which I already created before. This is the in installation. And now we, cha we have changed the wall styles. Let's see. When I draw this kind of wall, you see the style is different. So another thing uh, is this kind of installation. So to create this kind of insulation, <clears throat> uh, we will need to use uh, again ML style command, enter, and let's take a, make a go to standard, click on new, and let's write for example, insulation tutorial. Okay, and just type it insulation. And in this case, we will need like, you know, three lines. One will be exterior, one interior side, and you know, the, the middle of it, the batting or the insulation layer. So let's just click on add. Then uh, here, we will have to change the line type from continuous or normal to batting. In case you don't have this kind of batting uh, line, you would have to go, you would have to go to this place to this uh, line type op to this line type options and click on other <clears throat> then click on load and find the batting line click ok accept reload or load it depends on your options and here you see you have this batting line click ok now it's loaded let's go once again to ml style Click on this installation tutorial, modify, go to this middle line, which is this one, line type, and check if the batting is selected as the correct line type, and click OK. I would also like select this uh, caps part, like at the beginning and the end, so we see it's at the beginning and the end, and click OK, and OK once again. Now, we will have to forgot actually to select it as a current we have to click on this one and set the current okay and now when you click ml you can draw the wall with the batting inside but as you see you know this batting or the insulation layer is too small and usually depends on your drawing units or you know uh, this line type scale so basically what we have to do just click on the last laser line and change the line type scale to see if it fits, let's say 10, it doesn't fit, let's say 20, so now it fits. It always depends on what kind of like, you know, measure, measurements you have and like, you know, drawing units. And so this looks pretty good. So now we all we have to do is to select it and to put it on right layer, which is insulation layer. Now if we want to make this like maybe a little bit smaller like this, we go again to ML. Click on uh, S and just change the size to 200. And now you can see that we have again, like you know, this insulation layer, which is not so thick. And sorry, and put it, lantern, put the lantern scale. And once again, we have like this insulation layer. So that's basically it, how you create, you know, very simple and effective insulation layers or walls in AutoCAD. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.